The solar system is a very giant place. We don't talk about that enough. I feel like if I could keep this channel going on long enough, we'll eventually be making videos about the different planets and about the different nations and flags and colonies that are popping up on all the different moons and planets around here. I was going to say geopolitics, but that wouldn't be geopolitics. Geo means Earth, right? What would that even mean? Planet? Planet interplanetary politics the solar system by size arc so it's gonna be what everyone versus the giant scary sun so uh, there's a whole lot to get into hey, here because again in the solar system it's not just the planets there are so many other objects that are in our system and that's what I love about solar balls because they're giving characters to so much going on out there one of my personal favorite the asteroid belts but Mercury I don't know we'll why see. you guys want to play with little pipsqueak over Mercury here. you know what Venus kind Ever of since angry. I was told I have Sorry, that's Mercury. Mercury seems a little, uh, derp. Tectonic <laughs> activity. I just stopped caring about you and your insults. So, I love that the, so, the continents are correct. That's been a new aspect, I feel, of solar balls. Look at that. Look at those beautiful American continents there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, why don't you just shut up? Oh, man. Oh, snap. Dang. Oh, that's how you want to play Got it. him. Won't the sun miss his little pet planet? The sun won't mind if that, I'm gone for If the sun hours. ever had a, pla a pet Relax. planet, it would obviously be Mercury, the closest one to the sun. Oh, oh. Also pretty tiny. Hey Mercury! Do you know why I'm always signing autographs? Because I'm a star! Oh, that's... That's a good uh, one. He's a little psycho because, uh, well, sometimes he snaps and has solar flares. Uh, 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 Mercury? <laughs> no one's here to laugh at his jokes. I told them to stay That's his orbit. best friend. Uh, what is he gonna do without his best friend? Uh-oh. Attention, please! I, I love how there's like this looming doom over the entire story because we all know how our solar system is going to come to an end. We will likely see our star double or triple in size becoming a red giant, possibly eventually going supernova. I really hope that wasn't a spoiler. Me when I was five finding out the solar system is going to explode in a million years. Here are the gas giants though. Oh boy. It's come to my attention that you all basically don't care about your orbit. Well, wait, son, I, I was just- Son. Still talking here. Chill, son, because chill. That we are going to make a few changes around here. Oh boy. Until now, your orbits were the result of your creation billions of years ago. Yes. But now I think it's time to change your position. Dang, billions. It's an interesting perspective. I mean, I kind of knew that, but billions? What? Oh man. Uh, son, this is not only a bad idea, it's a terrible one. When did Jupiter get a Texas we... accent? Oh. You were saying? I don't think we... I was saying that this is a terrible idea. Yeah, funny enough, the solar system is not a democracy. It is literally a fascist dictatorship run by the sun. There's no voting here. You don't know the consequences of just changing our positions randomly. Oh, it's not going to That would be, be random, extremely buddy. bad. We're going to organize the solar system based on size. All the small planets Ooh. are basically going to stay in the same place. The oh, inner the rocky so planets? Dumb. Not too sure, dude. Um, that would be t really bad. It's funny, like, even just moving our moon by, like, a few hundreds of miles closer or back would have, like, detrimental consequences. If the moon was closer, its gravity would start tugging at Earth's crust. Also, not to mention, waves would be eight times larger. Keep in mind, the moon is over 200,000 miles away from Earth. Fun! Stand next to one another! Oh, man. Okay, well, first okay, of all, Jupiter, okay. the Earth's savior, is no longer going to be saving Earth. Because Jupiter's so large, it's saved us so often from asteroids. You're still the smallest, so you get to keep your orbit. Oh, okay, man. that's kind of funny how that works out. Uh, doesn't... Oh, my uh, I goodness. Mean, so oh, crazy. man! That's, yeah, Mars! <laughs> so Mars is the second smallest planet in our solar system. We're obviously not counting Pluto, because Pluto's not a planet anymore. Sad face. We're going to take Venus's place as the second planet. So ah, Mars is no uh, longer okay. going to be... Okay, and well, actually, I wonder, would Mars be better for humans to colonize if it was in Venus's place? I mean, it would be a completely different place, that's for sure, but probably. The third spot, we have Venus! What? Venus? They're very <laughs> similarly sized. No way I'm bigger than Venus. You look bigger, Earth. You're wrong. Help me out, Jupiter. You know things. Tell the sun the truth. Uh... Come I... on, Jupiter. State the facts. Uh -oh. I don't know if you're lying. I always know. Jupiter's like our... Venus's diameter is smaller by like 600 kilometers. Wow. Sorry, Earth. Now go to your new That's spot. so but, but, close. But my Earthlings. Sam, yeah. Figure it out. We're all gonna Maybe die. Maybe they can build their silly space colonies and avoid extinction. But... Oh, uh, I, I wonder how fast okay. we would Neptune, die. I mean, I guess it'd be instant if we moved it. You take Saturn's spot. Why? I'm the new Saturn? Who's <laughs> Pretty much. Peter? 
later. I'm getting the last spot, aren't I? <laughs> because of my rings. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't think about that. That's a good point. Uh, hold I don't on. think so, though. Rings don't count for planet size. Yeah, I was gonna so say. I should get the rings are basically spot. just moons. You can't help being always right, can you? Little tiny yeah, thousands and thousands of moon okay. rocks. A new age has started in the solar system. Hopefully now you learn to stay put and stop messing around. This is the psycho like teacher. <laughs> oh, it's gonna moon. be a whole lot colder. Reflect more Moon's gonna be chilling, dude. Our moon, I don't think they're gonna care at all. But maybe, 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 maybe. I wish not. I could. <sighs> I mean, oh, oh wow, the effect of the planets being all, or the continents being all frozen. I'm thinking those ice caps are gonna be a lot larger, too. Be in the Goldilocks zone? Well, this is its technically, cold region. The conditions for life are still. Technically, we still are in the Goldilocks zone, like where it's best to have life. But we're definitely reaching the outer limits. Possible here, but a lot harsher. There you Ugh. go. Stupid Mercury screwed us over. Perhaps, <laughs> though it's dreadful for some, is delightful for others. Why is Neptune? Neptune? Is this really you? So the yes. asteroid be belt's Anything still in the, the same matter. place. The asteroid belt's still separating the rocky planets from the gas giants. Terra. Huh? Hi, Neptune. Technically, are we still allowed Whoa. to say that? I guess. And technically, Pluto and their moon is a rocky planet, but it's not a planet. That's the thing. It's a rock. It's definitely a giant rock. I kind of wish they included Pluto just for this scenario. Just, I mean, because that would have thrown off everything. What happened that would, to you? The order would be hmm. It seems all my over the new place. orbit allows me to turn around the sun at a faster speed. That and the fact that I'm less lonely may explain hmm. why I'm less uh, peculiar. Oh, interesting. Wow. I wonder if this Neptune would say Neptune is not as big as Jupiter, so they probably wouldn't save us from as many asteroids. I mean, that's obviously a guarantee. They would save us a little bit, though. Such a bad idea. We would be in a different place, though, as <laughs> uh, well. We'd be technically closer doing. to that to Saturn's position, which is now Neptune's position. So it's very different. Aw, Jupiter. Poor Jupiter, all alone out here. Hey, my gigantic. Forced to just talk to Saturn. Oh, How depressing. Are you okay. Am I okay? I like the red storm. <laughs> I don't know, Saturn. Looks really do I, do awkward. I look okay? They kind of look like a pizza. Uh, no. Then why oh. ask? I don't know. This orbit Are there rocks behind you? Jupiter because so to signify the Kepler belt and all that stuff out there? And now you Maybe we deserve this, Saturn, for what we did to the fifth giant. Hey, shh. The others may hear. Oh. oh, good. Maybe it's time everyone knows the Didn't truth. Didn't they eat You're that? You're not being yourself. Just... Just stay put. Or was there a collision? I'll fix this, okay? The fifth giant was a planet orbiting between Saturn and Uranus. That's insane that we were even able to figure that out. Like, how? It's very interesting because when looking at the universe, uh, and, and I was just watching stuff about that. It's literally like looking into, into a time machine. You can I mean, kind of figure well, out that, what was huh? happening millions and billions of years <laughs> ago. What do you think, Mars? Me? Oh, uh, I'm worried about the Earth. He's really fond of his Earthlings, but they may all die in this new orbit. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, the Earthlings. Uh, can't they all just wear sweaters and, and be <laughs> done with it? Well, it's not as simple as that. I mean, we survived an ice age. I'm thinking things are going to be a little bit colder than... Well, we've survived multiple ice ages. I'm thinking, yeah, things are probably a little bit colder than just that because we're in Mars's position. Maybe we should talk with the sun. Hey, 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 no, no, hey. Uh, what's the big idea? Uh, you don't like it here, huh? Uh, closer uh, to the sun? Don't you like your, your new psycho tan, Mars? Mercury. Move aside. Oh dear. Technically, we can still get to Mars. Hey, rocky planet. It would be harder though, because we have to go through two positions. We have to move through Venus to get to Mars, that's in the second place spot. Do you know what my mother calls me, son? Listen. That exactly. sounds. <laughs> oh, Good that's one. funny. Listen, I, I wanted to talk about this new arrangement of planets. Ugh, I don't want to hear it. It's only been a few days. Give this new orbit plan a chance. No, <laughs> my friend is freezing out there because you are clingy. I, I feel like the accents what? definitely change. Listen, I don't want to be rude, but this whole mess was a terrible idea. Did you stop for just one second before you decided to just mix? Did you just call me clingy? Don't do that. Clingy. Mercury's uh, going to uh, learn. Yeah. Sorry, Mercury should have taught Mars to be careful with the sun. I am He's... Helios, Ra, Apollo, the Holy Indian. Crap. You dare mock my name, Ares. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Are we going to throw back to... Well, we're obviously throwing back to some Greek mythology. Mars might quickly become known as Icarus, flying too close to the sun. Rod Mars! Oh. <laughs> I wonder what's going on over there. Oh, Why am I getting like flashbacks to the Wait, Titanic or something? Is that a computer? Focus, All the Tara. people like in freezing in the water. I don't know why I'm thinking oh, that right now. That's so dark. 
My earthlings are the ones that are gonna die. You don't understand. I ran some calculations and I discovered I like an undesirable truth. What is it? The current Neptune arrangement of orbits. Smart. Some planets will spiral into the sun and others will spiral away. Oh. In other words, this is the end of the solar system. I wonder if it has to do with something, like, because Jupiter has such a huge gravitational pull because it's such a huge planet, uh, you him off. it would yeah. throw people right off, obviously, one. very slowly, Mars, but... Maybe this new arrangement of the solar system is not too bad? I mean, that does make sense. You can't just change. I mean, obviously that, but it would make sense if I guess that's a reference to the fifth gas giant got ejected out. I know you are tired of having Venus as your neighbor and being bullied by him, but you either learn to deal with him or all Earthlings die. What's it going to be? I don't think Mercury would if care about us at all. This, but we need everyone's help. Then what are we waiting for? I love the effects of like the hat, like the lighting effects halfway on their Neptune. face. What do you mean this is the end of the solar system? They've got to system. talk to the asteroid I mean, belt. I know I'm in trouble, but everyone else? I'm confused. It's quite I like simple, how their actually. faces change. The you Earth's see, face is kind of changing. Orbital resonance. Orbital what now? Basically, their placement is... I think on the other side with the other continents, but yeah. The solar system has a gravitational influence that balances everything, from our orbits to the asteroid belt. Uranus and I can't replace them. What? Why can't our They're not big enough. Because of your size and mass. As you I want to know what's going on with Earth's face here. Like, what is this new continent that just popped up? Is it Atlantis? And I'll see. Uranus is very small. Oh, don't At do. At least nobody laughed this time. Every, we always. Then we gotta undo this. We cannot they have let to do this the joke be every the time. end of the solar system. I am afraid it is, dear Luna. This is the solar system. The sun has final say on everything. Yep, but pretty much. Like I said, it's a fascist dictatorship. Do, right? There is. World War II Italy. <sighs> Better to be that. Hey, Mars. Another one, but. Uh, I missed you, buddy. Same here, Arth. It's kind of sad. I hate it. You can take it back. I'm working on it. Are we gonna but become first, like a Venus? To work just a poisonous gas. will have to take us seriously. Rocky planet, not gas. His silly plan. But, but I like my orbit. He's got an Australian accent. Uh, all right, mate. I feel like that ma that matches pretty well. Uranus had an Australian accent. I'm not making. I'm not making a joke here. Because Uranus is like on its axis, right? I don't know. It reminds me of the land down under. Peer pressure ought to do it. Uh, okay. Some peer pressure. Uh, who's next on the list? Jupiter. And I don't know. If peer pressure is going to work on the sun. Orbiting close to the Kuiper Belt. Cool. L -l 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 Let's go. Wow, wow, wow. Easy there. It's cold enough as it is here. Oh, yeah. this is a weird look at the other side, the back side of Earth. I think India has just been decapitated. There's Japan, if you though. Go any further, I doubt any There's of your Australia. Will survive. Right. All right, my planetary friends. We probably only have a couple days go. left. Maybe, if that. Oh, boy. Was that the sun, or was that so, Mars? Uh, what's up? Not much, mate. I'm pretty chill. Oh, so they took all their well, moons, right? You are an ice giant after all, eh? We're not going to talk about their moons? Right. <laughs> That'd be an even... I want to see that video. Since they're, like, switching positions in the solar system. Switch moons. What would happen with... Oh, that'd be crazy. What if Earth had, like, all the 64 moons that Saturn has or whatever? I think it's more than that now. This is nice, isn't it? We probably we wouldn't even survive. So far apart probably get ripped we apart. Kind of just forget about each other. Tell me about it. I don't think we'd be able in to be big enough to keep I them in our orbit. most of you existed. You did? Yup. <laughs> Are you sure you because want to they're go so back far to out Robert, there? Mate? Truth be told, I... Guys! At least they have Pluto to talk to. What's wrong, Saturn? It's Jupiter! He's not doing too well. He's very lonely out there. I hate oh, this place. is he going to get thrown I out? It. I keep getting lost in this creepy Kuiper Belt thing. Yeah. Oh, when is Saturn Planet X. coming back? He's not, compadre. What the hell's that? You? Well, I've seen you before. How... How are it's you been talking? A... How are you talking? What the heck? You raise a good point. <laughs> How am I talking? Oh, none of this makes it, any it sense. It doesn't. This is all just a terrible, scary dream. Well, why is everyone here? We came to fix the solar system. Together. They're going to oh, have to no. turn the dictatorship the into a democracy somehow. You left your orbit. The sun is on a solar flare rampage. He won't notice anything. Now, I think he's a little bit psycho, okay, obviously, but guy. he'll probably come back I down from his your place. his rager. You sure, this place is not nice. It's cold and lonely. Pretty dark. Get used to it. 
I certainly did. Neptune. I'll I mean, it's been billions of years. You would hope that Neptune eventually got used to it. Fine. I promise. All right, everyone. Time to face the sun. Time to face the sun. What's taking them so long? <laughs> They're traveling all the way to the farthest corner of the solar system. I mean, look how long it took uh, uh, our some time. our you satellite to get all the way out there. Earth? Take pictures. What is that Voyager? Took you long enough. Hey, we went as fast as we could. Guys, <laughs> relax. At least we're together it's now. It's still pretty fast. It took them like, what, 30 seconds? Well, if it isn't the planets of my solar system. Holy. Hello, losers. He's psycho. Famous. Did we completely forget about Venus? Yeah. No. Uh-huh. I think we... Nope. Oh, yeah, we kinda did. Venus! How could you snitch on us? Because I finally have a chance to sustain life! Oh. That's right, Earth. I have your spot in the Goldilocks zone now. If I wait and Venus was already years, seemingly, close, years. seemingly close. Seemingly close. The entire solar system will spiral out of control if we keep this on. Shut up, pipsqueak. I like how Nobody Venus is you. always the evil one. No, Venus. You're the one who doesn't like me. And I can live with that Only for the Venus. sake of everyone else. Dang. Mar Mercury's willing to sacrifice to sustain life, guys. their happiness. You are right. Maybe you will develop life. It's a scary combination, like a crazy psycho sun and, well, just like a really self-absorbed Venus. But you it doesn't get much worse than that. all of us forever. True. I almost lost all of my friends because of my own selfishness and insecurities once. Trust me. Oh man, the flashback to the other arcs, it. so good. I knew you'd make the right choice. It's like a giant yeah, Netflix yeah. series. So, is all of you against me? Yes, oh boy. son. We reject your preposterous mandate. So, your desire is to go back to your orbits. That is correct. I mean, and I why is that? Because our old He has literally gone into like crazy Greek god demon mode. Stable and we were basically made for them. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the animation so, so you all finally learned your lesson. Pardon me. <laughs> now repeat after me. Oh, that is nice. Always stay in my orbit. Nice. That was just... Say it. <laughs> That's beautiful. Ah, you all have grown up so much after this experience. Well, he's a so he's a messed up teacher, all. but I'm sorry, Mr. Sun, but and he gets he gets the lessons. Go back to our orbit. Don't interrupt me. He's, now, he's monologuing. Ooh, Give him a second. Want to hear some sun jokes? You're gonna they have to. Brighten up the mood. <laughs> <laughs> the psycho face. I, I think the sun might be my favorite character here. Most alien planet. We uh, we have Astro Dude back with us here, and we're gonna discuss discuss most which planet I guess is most alien. Which I'm trying to think which one is the most strange. I'm guessing we're not including the moons. Hey guys. Hey Mercury. Well, they're all oh, alien, but the I actually don't even know what the answer is gonna be. The solar system is going back to normal. Maybe Venus. Yeah. It's a pretty Wait, strange where's one. Where's Astro Dude? Maybe he's back. Solar system back to normal because they're re back in re in order. A few months ago. Yeah, so what's been going on? He's been losing his mind because obviously he Astro Dude can talk to the planets. You are using the most advanced. Oh my god, is this uh Karen from SpongeBob? Of course it can make coffee. We're all about to get our robot girlfriends. It's only a matter of time those AI girlfriends are coming. How did you simply know? What adventure is he gonna get himself into? I'm surprised he hasn't lost his mind with the Wait, being out in space and. No way, you're here! Oh crap! How did you make it into my ship? I. Oh no, you need water. Don't what do that. I call you? Is that an alien cell? What about Sibo? That would be really bad. Organism? From now on, you are going to be my best friend. I believe he found <laughs> this in one of the moons. Yeah, I need help. Under one of the surface of the moons in, in the water. Hey, computer. Meet Sibo. Possibly. My new best friend. Alert, alert, yeah, I was gonna say, alert, Astro Dude, this was a terrible idea. Protocol initiated. Uh, what? Terrible idea. Put him. I'm imagining the scene from Monsters Inc. 2319! 2319! You would think he would have known this, to be honest. I'm a little disappointed. 
I feel like Karen maybe would just take him out because she'd be worried about what would happen with the bacteria getting into uh, ball cells. I was gonna say human happened? cells, but we're we're country ball. We're human balls. Computer? What have you done? The robotics here. Uh oh. Yeah, this is uh. Once the robots start showing red, that's planetary protection. That's not good. What? Hey, Seabo. Space Odyssey. I'm happy to see you're okay. Although I don't understand why the computer went insane when it saw you. Yeah. Where, you should probably know. Where but... have we crashed? Okay. Time oh, to find I out wonder if we're one, if we're in the Kepler belt. Let's see. Planetary protection. Planetary protect. Aha! Here it is. <laughs> Did they just throw us on an the asteroid planetary or protection us? Protocols you know, are whatever. Used to stop forward contamination and backwards contamination. Yeah, he's no longer ever gonna be able to go back back to Earth. It's over. Him, and his family, they're done. Just get a divorce now. What's that? R right. Maybe I should keep reading. Forwards contamination is when life from Earth goes to extraterrestrial oh, places, while Plague backwards Inc. contamination is when extraterrestrial organisms are brought back to Earth. Both I are bad. When the computer saw you inside the ship, Both some equally type bad. of protocol must have been activated to prevent the ship and myself from further. This is reminded me of like all the the stuff they did with um, Neil Armstrong and Buzz. They were pretty freaked out about moon bacteria or just any sort of alien life form, microbes, something, diseases, contamination. But the ship went crazy and crash landed us Which is wherever a, this is. I mean, that totally makes sense. As part of the is planetary that a flying squid, call, the extraterrestrial or is he in the ocean? Must be contained. Anyone that had contact must be placed under quarantine. Yes. The equipment sterilized. So this is probably an official stance by with like most space organizations around the world. Maybe we've all come to agree. I mean, I, I'm sure. Is the findings report. Are there recognized Earth, protocols things, by different countries? The entire purpose of the mission may change. Change to what? I feel like the answer must be here somewhere. If you introduce some sort of new bacteria to Earth, it's gonna run rampages on us. Is that a Kraken? What the? It, I can't tell if he's underwater or if it's just like a flying. I think he's underwater. Aliens! Yup, I'm on a freaking alien-infested planet. Why is my boss picking up? Run this isn't the first time, right? Excellent range. How he's far away can I be from Earth? You win. Oh man, look at those flags. A bunch of Algerias pre-2011, or no, is it Libya? Yeah, flag of Libya, 1977 to 2011. It's it's just green. And in this universe, apparently there's like 12 of them. Okay, this is your time. Make you Mr. Rotsar proud. We're we gonna get a planet uh, ball. I uh, wish Astro Dude was here to see me become super oh. popular. Planet Why is he not ball, replying country ball anymore? Reference? God, who dare calls me right He's now? He's looking like a Bye. Soviet. <laughs> Where was I? Slightly. Ugh, now I lost all signal. I am so screwed. The UN does not care about this guy probably anymore. Oh, you really got me in a lot of trouble, Sibo. I don't know how Freaking I'm gonna get out of Zeebo. this one. You are right, Sibo. I'm thinking I he's die, like past. I fighting. I can face that past the alien thingy. Orbit of up uh, with planets after all. Thanks, That's true. friendo. And Past the orbit of Neptune. I've officially lost my mind. Way out there, maybe. Or he's on a moon. Are we supposed to know? Giant robotics. Computer. Whenever I see stuff like this, it's like it's cool to me because I know that one day we're gonna get there. One day I'll have like a giant mech suit. Like it's just. It, I mean, maybe not me, but the human species, if we want it. Like, technology will get there. Conditions unless are outside. we all explode or something like that. Oh, unless we blow right. each the other computer up. computer is dead. I guess I'll just risk it. Jarvis. Where is Jarvis? So the twist is going to be revealed to us at the very end. I'm guessing where he actually is. Oh, it, is this gonna be a uh, joke? The pressure here. Is he on Earth? More than a thousand bar. Where the heck He's am on Earth, I bro. right now? God damn it! Man. Let's see. I mean, because one of those fish is literally an How am like I supposed to fix the ship if I have to fight these monsters? Stay That's away, why PSI was. He's at the creatures. bottom. He's like in the Mariana Trench or something like that, I think. Uh, should give me because there's a giant squid, supposedly. Well, so there is giant squids, but I signed up to do. Screw there could this. be even bigger ones the down low. Full power. Don't do that super fast. You're not supposed to do that there. super fast. Yeah, he's in. 
water, oh and it's not God, frozen at the top. Am I where I think I am? Yeah. Boom, there's the twist. I, oh, I should have called that faster. I should have known. Seriously, the bottom of our oceans the is the most world alien world. Was Earth? Jeez, there's some messed up we're stuff still in figuring the out. of the ocean. Yeah, we're still well, figuring wait, out about that stuff. My ship! The way he rose so fast, I, I'm just imagining him exploding, but I guess he is a ball, so he probably doesn't have the same inner workings as a human. So that... So, oh, so we just did backwards contamination, or... Uh, some sort of alien I can't microbe it. just made it to... I can't believe I crashed Earth, which into is bad. the Earth! Huh. Well, I guess I can finally do is, this. Is he finally back? Oh, yeah. He has not oh, been back in, like, wow. five How videos of mine. Blair. 35 videos, <laughs> I think, of Solar Bowls. Yep. Of course this would be my glorious return where, home after years in space. Where, pa Just what part of Earth is he in, though? In the ocean. That's the terrifying thing. Earth is so big and the oceans are so big. He still might be, like, miles and miles away from civilization. He could be somewhere in the Pacific right now. My spaceship deep underwater, surrounded by deep-sea creatures. It's gonna get Boss? in there. Hello? Incredible the spaceship Astro was able to survive the PSI, though. I crash-landed on Earth. Please send help. This dude does not care. He's, yep. he's in selfish Nothing mode right expected. now. I can get messages all around the solar system, but the Earth? No! Ugh. I'll just have to... What the heck is that? Is that a giant what? boat? Or a giant oh, blue whale? <laughs> Ocean life is pretty... Dang, he's gonna get eaten. It's Was interesting how this universe. Whale? It's interesting that this universe has humans that are balls, but the animals are still the same, which I guess is accurate. Pinocchio, this is giving me Pinocchio vibes. Let me out! Hey! Make I'm him sneeze. Part of your diet, I swear. Oh man, this reminded me of that person that like got put in the mouth of a whale, like <laughs> like a blue whale did. Hey, whale, momentarily eat I'm a person, but you. spat him back out pretty fast. I think they were paddle boarding. Out, that's crazy. Honey? Honey, it's me. Is this real? Karen? Oh, baby. Baby, it's I know you're oh. probably not getting any of my video messages. In Maybe this is giving me mission. not inception. Interstellar home, vibes. I just wanted you Interstellar's coming back in theaters re soon. Safe. Can't wait to see and that. that I love you. Dang, this is Interstellar. I dang, just the darkest you. in the You love me. How did they fix that? Yes, I'm still alive. I had inside of a blue whale. After the crash. Does the blue whale well, have some sort of special? Because now we're trapped inside a freaking whale after you crashed microchips. the microchips to the earth. What were you thinking? I some just sort of did motherboard what to I reinstall was tasked it? with when you showed me the alien organism. Oh, did it crash? My protection protocol was activated. That's a thing. It is. First, I contain oh. the creature, activated ship sterilization, and then go to the bottom of the ocean. At full speed towards Earth to report the findings immediately. And wait, wait, wait! You tried to do everything. I at wonder once. if that's the best place. So I think reporting to Earth immediately. Best wasn't place to put like some aliens literal? probably would be at the bottom of the ocean. Otherwise, you'd risk more contamination. Disease-wise. Astro dude. The command was kind of ambiguous. And again, just launching the bacteria back out of Earth's orbit and just somewhere as far away as possible. That's probably the best option. Yeah. I think if you fair. put it at the bottom of the ocean, that's how you now create Godzilla. Out how to get out of this whale. They want a flying light like that. With those alien -like monsters. Why need you call them aliens, Astro Dude? Because they might as well be. What do you mean? Yeah. The ocean they live in a completely the different alien place in environment. The system, if you think about it. There yeah. are millions of species we don't know about. Many unexplored corners. Yep. Places we haven't reached yet. The PSI, like, they, they're just going to function completely so much we don't know. differently. While that is true, we have sent probes around our solar system and beyond. We know the composition yep. of all the planets and have a very good and idea we still, of how the universe that's crazy. was formed. Did you know we have barely mapped 20% of the ocean floor? Yeah, and we did a lot of that during World War II. It was really when it first began, but we are, we still had a long way to go. Compared to like 100% of Mars and the moon's surface. It's a lot easier because that all that water is so much makes it really of difficult. The ocean we do not understand yet. Wow, I 
That's crazy to think that about, way. but yeah. And that is why you wouldn't survive without me. <laughs> Have you forgotten we are still I love inside AI. the whale? Well, force it to open its mouth. Ow! Change the air composition inside the whale's mouth. Can, How wait, am I what? To do that? Astro dude, you have a freaking jetpack. <laughs> oh. Dang. We yeah, really need I our AI. You, Even if we're like ball humans. Just Is that really what would would a would a jetpack really cause it to open? I guess. Okay. This just happened. I thought he was about to Robin. briefly start talking uh, to the blue whale the for a second there. A few miles away. I'm adding its location to your map, but Okay, thanks. Let's this is go so much more powerful than Jarvis. Eight. Wow. What is it? It's the ship. It's moving. Moving? Uh oh. What? How? One of the fish know. got a hold of it. Maybe we should keep our distance and computer. We need to get the ship back. I feel like I'm I wouldn't listen to this guy anymore. He's lost all credibility. We have this no dude lost all credibility. Just be cautious, Astro dude. I will. Don't you worry. Or maybe it's just a part of its. Are we getting close, computer? Natural. Very close, Astro dude. Are you ready? <laughs> of course. This is kind of scary. Giant squid. Monster! It's one of the <laughs> monsters! It's... Wait. Did are he they eat the? Working oh. together to help me? How is that possible? Sea creatures can produce grunts, clicks, and other noises with oh, their communications to convey information. Dolphins. The information being to help you, Astro Dude. But who could convey that information? Aquaman. Wait. Oh. Sibo? The alien cell. Override planet protection protocol. Planet protection protocol. I don't think I trust this little cell we thing. We truly don't know anything about the ocean, do we? Well, that's kind of beautiful. Never thought I'd see those working together. A few days later, where are we at? Hawaii. Okay, ship should be finished and ready for takeoff. He's getting more are and more facial sure, hair. Astro dude, the ship was in a very bad state when we crashed. Maybe a few more days. Computer, oh, that's creepy. Longer, He's gonna, gonna leave it in the sand like that. Also, I need to tell my wife I'm okay. So you don't want to stay on Earth? I mean, we can't have Sibo just wandering around the planet, right? Planetary Launch it. protection and all Launch that. him back to space, please. About you. Aren't you homesick? This crash landing could be a great opportunity to return to your family. Doesn't matter. Is this a test? Dang, this guy's oh, driven. This guy's driven. To test my results. Does he have kids too? Astro, Who's gonna take care of his mission. kids? Okay, now let's take this ship for a ride. Okay. I guess he's gonna Before launch him back out. Off, don't you want to run a test or? Now let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Dude, this, he does not. This is the last guy we need to be sending out in space. Yes. He does it keep works. things pretty entertaining though. <laughs> I am a certified genius. Astro dude, uh, gonna I can't steer the rocket. The only thruster that is working is the main one. Uh, um, maybe your software is broken. Uh, activate Should've done a software mode. update beforehand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got out. Yeah, they're okay. Anyways, they escaped I'm Earth's sure atmosphere. Astro dude is doing all right for himself. Yeah. He's an Earthling after all. This they is like uh, Team Rocket uh -huh. when they get blasted Great. off into space. Come on, Moon. Let's go. We're coming. Oh. Oh, please don't tell me. He should have just stayed. Oh man, I can't wait. He's gonna listen to that album. Pink Floyd album. Is that what he's? He's humming it, isn't he? He probably. He's got to be humming a Pink Floyd song right now, but I don't know which one it is. There's a nice reference. Again, that video was by Solar Bowls. Please go subscribe. It's been a minute since I've talked about the solar system, but it's always fun. It's exciting that we're getting more and more news about this sort of stuff, so there's always more stuff to talk about. Big thanks to my patrons this month. Kansas was mentioned. King Bear Hayes. John Denver. I can't sleep without Drew's voice. The beautiful Megan. Under Archaeology. A Fat Norwalk. Carmel S. Connor Pavlik. Douche Baggins. Frederick Luxenberg. Jack Trim. Tamron. Kiri No is this girl. I love you. The Mexican 760. 760. Boy. 